Hi, this is the second part of our Fitness Coach Chatbot app with an individual user experience. In the first part, we created a register, login and conversation endpoint and the conversation endpoint only returned the currently logged in user. From this point, we will advance and use Langchain and OpenAI to create the final chatbot. If you didn't watch the first video and don't intend to do so, or maybe you're not just so interested in fast API, you can just check out the Git repository. The link is in the description and there you have to check out the branch and the branch is called chatbot. There you will find the new AI folder and also in the routes.py file, you will see additional code. From there, you can follow along with this video. Okay, we will first go to the prompts.py and there we will create our prompt template for the LLM. And what we're gonna do now is we import the user class. The user class contains all the information of the user, like the ID, username, email, password, age, and the fitness level. So we need all that information. So we pass it here as argument to our function. And what we're gonna do here is from the user object, from the database, we will create a new multi-line string. For example, here, you see the user profile. This is the ID, this is the user ID, username, email, age, and the fitness level. So this is in a nice templating string format. So we can pass the output of this F string to a real prompt. I show you how we will create a prompt template. So we first define the identity of the bot. You are a coach AI, an intelligent virtual fitness coach. This is the identity of the bot. And we tell the bot that it should provide personalized workout and nutrition advice. You will always greet the user with or her username. Very important to get a personal experience here. We also tell the bot that it should have a deep understanding of the user's fitness level and tailor the advice to the unique needs of each individual. So only with this information, it will take the fitness level into account when you ask a question like, how often should you deadlift per week, for example. Then you set the tone of the bot, be always encouraging and positive, you are committed and to helping users and stay motivated to achieve their fitness goals. And then we pass in the context, which was created here. So this will just be a multi-line string in there. And then we pass in the question from the user and this will create a final response. So we pass in this template here to Langchain. Langchain will then replace these variables. So the context and question, and this will be sent to OpenAI via Langchain. Okay, now let's go to the routes.py and let's rework the conversation endpoint. Here we have to install some packages and import after installing them the Langchain LLM OpenAI class. Then we have to import the prompt template class and also the LLM chain class. We also want to import, of course, the generate context method or function, and of course the Q&A template. We also want to use the load.env and find dot end functions from python.env. This will find the dot end file here in the repository. And after identifying the file, this function will now load all of our environment variables here. So why are we doing this? Because we've got our dot end file and there we have to pass in the OpenAI API key. And here you have to pass in your personal OpenAI API key to actually make it work. So again, let's go here. And then we go to the conversation endpoint. And here we will first create a new function. This will be reworked. So we get our current user from the dependency injection. This is the function which always returns our current user. We get the current user from the payload of the JWT, and then we pass it here to the database and make a query, get to get the current user. And this is how we get it with dependency injection. So we have it here as variable. We also pass in a query. This is the question from the user. This gets uh, sent to OpenAI. Okay, then we will first try to get the user with the current user ID. And if we don't have a user, we will raise an HTTP exception. Normally, this should not happen because you cannot have users in your JWT, which were not registered in the beginning. After doing this, we will create the context and we'll pass in the DB user. This is the user which will be queried from the database, which contains all the relevant information like the fitness level, the name and so on. So this will create the very nice F string. Here we call it context. This context will be passed to the prompt template later. And first we will create the LLM. So we create an OpenAI instance, pass in the temperature. I take here zero. So the bot 
is very deterministic. We also pass in the OpenAI API key, which is stored in the environment variable OpenAI API key. We then create our prompt template and to the prompt template, we pass in the context and we pass the question. So the context is of course the context we created here and the question will be the query, which is an argument here in our API endpoint. We also have to pass in the Q&A template as template and the variables have to of course match the variables here, which we pass in as the input variables list. So then we have our final prompt and now we will create an LLM chain. We pass the LLM and the prompt to the constructor and this will return an instance here now of the LLM chain. And then we can run the run method of the LLM chain and we have to pass in the context and the question. So as you can see, the question is the query. So this matches this value and this matches this value. Make our request to OpenAI with this function and then we get back a response which only contains the text. And then at the end, we just return the response here from our API endpoint. Okay, and that's actually it. We can now use our API and make an individual conversation with the user. Let's try it out. We only have to run Python main.py. Here on localhost 5555, we can access the URL endpoint slash docs, and there we've got our Svega UI. Here we can register a new user, we can hold our conversation, but first we will create a user, of course. We don't have to pass in some kind of email here, we just pass in a username, and let's say we call it fitness god, but we at the beginner level, we are 35 years old, and the password is just string, so this is fine. We register a new user. Oh, the email is already registered. So let's take another. Okay, this works. Now we can create a conversation. We can log in here with fitness god and password is string. So now we are authenticated and in every request, we will send our JWT in the request header. So now we can ask, for example, how many deadlift sessions should I do per week? Okay, here we can see in the request, we have our authentication header. There's our bearer token or JWT, which get passed to OpenAI. So we are authenticated and back from OpenAI, we get high fitness god. So this is the username we created based on your fitness level. I recommend starting with two deadlift sessions per week. Make sure to focus on proper form and technique and gradually increase the weight. So we get treated as a beginner here. Let's try it again with a more advanced lifter. Let's create a new user here. So for example, fitness god 123, and he is an expert. Give it another email. So let's try to create a new user. Oh, okay, that does not work. Ah, that works. Now we can log in with fitness god 123. First, we have to log out here. Oh, okay, I'm already logged out. So let's log in again. And now we ask the same question again. So now we should see a different result from OpenAI. Based on your fitness level, I recommend doing deadlifts two to three times per week. Okay, as you can see, the bot always talks to us with our username and takes the fitness level into consideration before asking the question. So this works and this kind of unique behavior is very good if you have some kind of user database and you want a real personal user experience with a chatbot. So you can take that repository, make it more advanced, adapt it to your own needs and do whatever you want with it. If you liked the video, feel free to subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumb up. Thank you very much. Bye bye.